Hi, today at the Creative Zone, we're going to create a textured landscape using modeling paste. It's going to be a blast. To start, I'm going to create all of my ground with modeling paste. And what I'm going to use is just a, a thicker paper. You could do this on canvas. As I mentioned before, it is flexible. It's not going to crack, so it doesn't have to be a rigid surface. You could do it on a wooden panel. You could do anything you would use acrylic paints on because it is water-based. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mark out the area that I'm going to work with. Because I'm going to be applying this product with a palette knife, I'm not going to be using brushes at all. I want to have some delineated edges. So I'm just going to put down some painter's tape. I'm going to put in horizon line first of all. And then I'm going to go right across here. It doesn't have to be exact. And I want to get some areas, different areas, some larger spaces, some smaller. And this is just sort of a general roadmap for myself of how I might want to apply some of the modeling paste. Since I'm going to do my big area first, I'm going to use my longest palette knife. It's easy to manipulate. It's almost like working with icing. In terms of drying times, depends how thick you put it on. In areas that are thin like this, that'll be dry oh, in about four hours or so. But areas that are thicker, I'm going to leave this like the areas like this. And depending on your humidity conditions where it is drying, it could take 24 hours, it could take a couple of days. It's very dependent on the climatic conditions and how thick you put it on. So that's why I'm preparing my surface today. And we'll come back and we'll actually apply paint on top in a few days. 